Thank you very much, uh, Sister Charlene. At magandang hapon sa bawat isa sa inyo. At uh, ating uh, nais ipaalala sa bawat isa na sa ating uh, uh, communion sa darating na April 3, we will start the uh, anniversary month with a communion the so first Sunday, and uh, we have to limit the, the membership na kung saan ay uh, siguro ay we would uh, like to narrow down to 150. The first na makapag, talagang ito ay, it's a commitment, no backing out, na uh, mag, uh, Lord's Supper, this is a very sacred, this is, uh, the peak of worship ay uh, yun ang alaw lang dito, yun ang ipiprepare dito. Ganon rin sa anniversary uh, morning and uh, uh, afternoon ay uh, we will uh, limit that kasi may pupunta rin dito galing sa ibang churches. So, uh, we'll have uh, to limit our own uh, membership. Uh, gusto nga natin lahat, pero hindi pa pwede. We cannot go full blast uh, in view of the fact that pag tayo ay uh, allowed na, na at wala ng uh, mga social distancing at uh, wala ng uh, washing of hands at uh, pwede ng magkamayan, uh, okay? ay doon lang natin gagawin yon. Uh, uh, meanwhile, we have to bear uh, with uh, uh, the circumstance na uh, maging uh, maingat tayo. Okay? Huwag tayo maging mapagpabaya and then only to regret. Okay? So, <clears throat> na-announce ko na this will go for uh, the events, special events in the life of the Lord's Church at Calvary Baptist Church. Uh, two years na hindi tayo nakapag-celebrate uh, ng uh, uh, anniversary. So, ito ay kinasasabi ka natin na ito ay mangyari na ngayon at ito ngayon answered prayer. Okay? So, uh, salamat sa Panginoon uh, sa uh, pagkakataong ito na tayo ay uh, makapag-tipo uh, na. But of course, the Lord has uh, uh, made a move, okay, uh, na sa ibang countries ay meron pa, pataas pa sila, pero sa atin ay uh, level 1 na at saka pwede na nga raw na ay, uh, level 0, pero at least nag-iingat pa kasi mahirap mag, uh, magsisi sa huli. Ang pagsisis ay maganda lang sa unahan pagdating sa kaligtasan. Pero sa lahat ng bagay, ang pagsisis ay nasa hulihan. <laughs> okay? So, sa hapong ito ay ating uh, uh, susuriin at susulyapan ang buhay ng isang uh, lingkod ng Panginoon na ito ay tinawag ni Apostle Pablo, kapwa lingkod, uh, fellow uh, servant, and while he had a calling uh, from the Lord uh, to be a preacher and a pastor, however, ang servanthood is not limited only uh, to this uh, God-called and ordained uh, ministers of the gospel. Servanthood, I, it covers all Christians. We are all servants of God. And uh, we have uh, one a king, uh, master, and lord, and this is our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, in spite of his lordship, I humbled himself and became a servant. Siya ang uh, 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 best example of what servanthood is. Pero... Ang lalaking ating, kasi puro na lang babae, ang ating na-cover sa sunod-sunod na linggo, ay we are going to consider an example 
worth emulating. Ang isang halimbawa na uh, maaigi at magandang uh, tularan. Okay, so I would like us to please open our Bibles. That's the title of the message, An Example Worth Emulating. At nais kong buksan natin please ang ating mga banal na kasulatan uh, uh, at ito ay uh, babasahin natin sa Colossians uh, chapter 4, okay, verse 12 and verse 13. At in the past Sundays, I, I have touched on uh, a, a doctor, mga professionals, itong mga uh, ating uh, uh, pinagbibigyang uh, uh, tuon ng ating meditation. Uh, may sundalo, may doktor tulad nito. Ihuli na lang natin ang abogado. Hello here in the person of the Apostle Paul, uh, the greatest uh, theologian and uh, 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 lawyer uh, na di kampanilya. And uh, he was able... Uh, to defend himself and uh, silence his accusers. But in spite of his uh, sound uh, defense, whatever, I, he was still executed for okay, a crime that is no crime at all, and that is for preaching the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and lifting up the King of Kings. He would rather lift up King Jesus rather than King Caesar. Okay, so it pays uh, to serve Jesus and uh, they did uh, uh, consider the, the cost. So ngayon, <clears throat> mananahi, di ba? Kailan yung last uh, Sunday, businessman, businesswoman, uh, senior citizen, ngayon naman sa... Sa hapong ito ay isang lingkod ng Diyos, isang preacher and uh, uh, pastor na kung saan ang kanyang halimbawa ay ating tularan. You do not have to have a calling as a servant. Automatic yon It comes uh, with your uh, second birth that you have uh, become a uh, child of God. Uh, or a son of God and automatic a servant of God, no longer a servant of sin. Sa hapong ito, I would like us to open our Bibles to the book of Colossians chapter 4 verse 12 and verse uh, 13. Okay? Magkalapit sila uh, ni Dr. Luke na pinarangalan ng Panginoon. Ano ba ang dapat na masilip natin sa buhay ng lalaking ito? Nag, ito ay talagang uh, uh, pinuri ni Apostle Paul at uh, magandang huwaran upang atin namang tularan, you do not have to be a preacher or to be a pastor. As a Christian, this is a good model. Okay, so we are going to be in a uh, modeling uh, session na susuriin natin ang lalaking ito. Chapter 4, verse 12 and verse 13. Sabi dito, Epaphras, who is one of you, a servant of Christ, saluteth you, always laboring fervently for you in prayers, that ye may stand perfect and complete in all the will of God. For I bear him record that he hath a great zeal for you and them that are in Laodicea and them in Hierapolis. In other words, church planter rin pala ito. Tatlong gawain ang kanyang hinahawakan. Okay, so may the Lord uh, impress the truth that uh, we are about to learn and if not discover so that sa ating mga uh, pagiging uh, lingkod at pagiging mga manggagawa ng Panginoon ay we would excel for God's glory. Okay? Tayo manalangin. Father, bless your word and help us to uh, uh, really discover some uh, 
uh, schools of thoughts and uh, uh, spiritual principles that uh, this man of God have uh, uh, shown during his uh, uh, life on earth and of which the Apostle Paul uh, was privileged to uh, have one of his companions and co-laborers uh, during uh, his ministry and travels uh, here on earth more than 2,000 years ago. We are thankful for the Lord and those that have followed his footsteps uh, like these men and women that uh, are recorded in scriptures and help us, O oh Lord, uh, to really follow uh, uh, our Lord and through the testimonies of uh, these men and women that you used uh, for your glory that we would at your coming be hearing you pronounce the well done praise for each faithful servant. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. <clears throat> An example worth emulating. Si Papras ito. There are several things that we should uh, get to know about Epapras uh, from this uh, first reference that I have uh, read and I uh, do not doubt that you have followed uh, silently wherever you are seated in this aud uh, auditorium. Uh, una sa lahat ay dapat nating malaman as I have said before and I'll say it uh, uh, again today na ang church na itong sinusulatan ni Apostle Paul ay hindi siya mismo ang uh, may uh, tatag nito. Kaninang ubaga, nabanggit ko yon That there are two churches na sinulatan niya na, na uh, uh, naging uh, bahagi ng uh, church epistles or cluster of letters na ito intended for the churches. Ang church sa Rome at ang church dito including the church at Laodicea, uh, the church in Hierapolis, na nabanggit dito. Hindi si Apostle Paul ang may tatag dito. But even then, ay makikita natin ang uh, uh, kalakihan ng puso ni Apostle Paul na sa kabila na hindi siya ang human founder uh, ng church na churches na ito, and yet may malasakit siya nais niyang uh, ang mga ito ay uh, lumago at ito ay uh, makapagluwalhati at makapaglingkod ng Panginoon tulad niya at tulad ng lalaking binabanggit niya na si Epaphras. Kung kayo ay tulad ka may Bible na yan ang advantage ng Schofield Reference Bible and yet you have to check this with other available resources na itong church sa Laodicea na sinulatan ni Apostle Paul dito ay binanggit niya sa dulo yung kaninang nasabi ko sa umaga that this is a circular letter intended for the uh, nearby churches na ito ay pinangasiwaan ng lingkod na pang, ng Panginoon na si Epapras. And then it all extends to our time because it's the Word of God and we will learn uh, nuggets of gold and principles for life uh, that will best uh, uh, enable us to live God-pleasing lives. Uh, so, dito ay ating mapapansin na no doubt ang church doon na ang church na ito ay sinulatan ni Apostle Paul from Rome na siya ay nabilanggo sa Roma for no crime except preaching the gospel and helping uh, sinners come to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. That was a crime that was no crime at all. So, uh, dito ay, it was because of religious envy or jealousy that the religious leaders I, uh, decide to get rid of him. So, ngayon, Nung siya'y naroon sa imprisonment, the first imprisonment doon sa Rome, sinulatan niya ito. Now, sino itong uh, 
uh, church na ito at uh, ito nagpapastor doon sa church na ito at ang nabanggit na karating puok na kung saan ay may naitatag na uh, gawain. Si Papras, ang pangalan niya, ano ang maganda kaya ang maganda is uh, modeling eh. Ang pangalan uh, uh, Epaphras means charming. He is a charming man. Okay? Uh, uh, siya ay uh, uh, likable. Okay? At uh, 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 siya ay madaling uh, uh, makas uh, magandang makasama. Okay? Yan ay napatunayan rin ni Apostle Paul. That's why he gave three praises for uh, this man si Epaphras na pastor doon uh, si Epaphras ay siya ay no doubt naging bunga sa ministry ni Apostle Paul doon sa city of uh, Ephesus which is about 100 miles ang distansya uh, sa uh, Colossae at itong uh, si uh, Epaphras We are not informed or told kung ano talaga ang uh, uh, pangyari at nangyari na doon sa lugar ng Ephesus ay doon siya naligtas at pagkatapos nito ay siya ay bumalik sa kanyang uh, probinsya, sa kanyang <clears throat> native place at nagsimula siyang magpatutuo doon until such time <clears throat> na ito ay lumago and then by the grace of God na organized at siya na nagpasimula dito sa lugar na ito ang binigyang honor na maging pastor ng church sa Colossae. So, uh, dito ay ating uh, mapapansin na uh, uh, ang lalaking ito ay sa sulat ni Apostle Paul ay ang ton, uh, tono nito ay doon sa uh, uh, kar- karating puok nito sa Hierapolis at including Laodicea ay it is uh, possible na siya rin ang uh, may uh, pasimula ng magagawain sa lugar na ito. Napakaganda ng kanyang uh, credential at ganun rin ang uh, kanyang testimony na ito ay pinapurihan ni Apostle Paul sapagkat personal niya itong nakasama. Okay? So, uh, there are three things kasi pagkatapos nito may minister pa uli ako. Okay? May uh, tilay nagkakamali ng landas. <laughs> ano dito? Yan yan. Uh, next month ay before our anniversary of course they will tie ano yung tatay nila? <laughs> The ribbon. Okay? No, uh, mention no names. So, after this, ay meron pang counseling session. So, anyway, <clears throat> there are three things from the very pen, siguro talagang bunga siya ni Apostle Paul, na kung bakit mag- malapit ang puso ng isa't isa na si Epapras at saka si Apostle Paul. Talagang uh, uh, kung may uh, suliranin tulad ng nagkaroon ng problem doon sa Colossae, na ang problema pa, ay ito ay it revolves around uh, the deity ang pagkajust ng Panginoong Isa Kristo and uh, uh, so when the apostle Paul wrote this letter ang tono ng kanyang pagsulat dito ay it uh, actually uh, a re- rebattal sa mga itinuturong uh, maling katuruan ng mga nagpapanggap na mga palsong mga ngaral na medyo nagkakaproblema doon. So, ang ginawa niya sa chapter 1 ay uh, he actually uh, made a rebuttal na ito ay itinaas niya ang preeminence ng Panginoong Swisto. The preeminence, uh, the superiority, the excellency of Jesus Christ that He is God incarnate in human flesh sapagat naapektuhan sila ng teachings ng mga Gnostics. There are uh, two uh, uh, groups of uh, Gnostics. Uh, ang una ay uh, uh, Syrinchans at ang isa pa dito ay uh, nagtuturo na si Kristo ay hindi talaga Almighty. He is only a uh, 
one of the existing uh, uh, God students of mythology, Roman and Greek mythology, na uh, he is actually a, to be exact, a phantom. Parang ghost lamang siya. Uh, so, si Apostle Paul ay itinas niya that Jesus Christ is very God of very God. That He is Almighty God. But He is not the Father. He is the Son, the eternal Son of God. And this is the mystery. In other words, to, uh, getting to the point, ang question na nangyari doon ay ang Trinitarian uh, teaching uh, uh, ng Christianity ay it is under attack. But it's not only then, today it's also under attack. Matindi ang attack ngayon. Uh, may group na niwala na siya'y tao lamang. And this is one uh, uh, kind of the agnostics ng panahon ni Apostle Paul na sinusulatan niya dito na, na ipinaabot sa kanya ni uh, Epapras ang problema ito. Today, as uh, nung panahon, as then, ay uh, ating mapapansin may mga nagsasabi na ang Panginoong Kristo is only a mighty God. Siya only mighty. He is not almighty. There is only one almighty. So, sa Revelation chapter 1, uh, in uh, support of what the Apostle Paul uh, presented here as uh, a defense, as uh, uh, a rebuttal against such false teaching, ay sinabi mismo ni John uh, the Beloved, Jesus Christ is the Almighty. Not only the Almighty God, but He is the Alpha and Omega. You cannot go uh, between uh, this Alpha and Omega na sabihin mo, oh, meron pang nauna sa Alpha at meron pang huli at higit pa sa Omega because it speaks of the eternity of God. Okay, only God is eternal. Okay? So, and thank God, tayo na mga mortals ay kinahabagan niya na ang ating mga immortal souls, ang ating immortality ay magkaroon tayo ng kasiguruhan ng eternal life. Yan ay at, uh, 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 the experience of the new birth when we are born again, ang ibinibigay sa atin uh, ng Diyos ay a new life, eternal life, uh, hindi tulad sa kay Adam that uh, 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 fell into sin and for that matter, the world was condemned. And even after death, yung ibinigay sa atin ng Diyos na eternal life ay it will continue and we will enjoy uh, the uh, company of our Savior and our Lord. Whereas, yung mga taong hindi ligtas, minsan lamang sila isinilang physical birth alone, ay, uh, they inherited the Adamic nature. When they die, please do not get me wrong, nor be uh, 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 influenced by others, that when an unsaved dies, ay doon niya makikita ang eternal life. Wala silang eternal life. They will have eternal existence. There is a vast of difference between existence and eternal life. Because yung soul nila ay immortal. Okay? So they will continue to exist. Okay, so, dito ay, there are three things na ating matutuklasan na ito'y pinarangalan o pinapurihan ni Apostle Paul. Uh, kaya nga, nasasabi kong ito ay uh, karapat dapat na uh, tularan at magandang halimbawa. Okay? Whether you're a preacher, a pastor, or you are uh, a teacher, or whatever, as long as you are a Christian, ang tatlong bagay na ito ay nais ni Apostle Paul na ito ay ating uh, makakamtan uh, ang principles na ito. First of all, uh, kasi dito, 
sa sulat ni Apostle Paul sa mga taga-Colose in defense of uh, the preeminence of the Lord and as a show of love and support for the ministry of this man at sa problema ay inilapit niya kay Apostle Paul. Si Apostle Paul serves as a pastor to pastors. And this is a uh, uh, truth uh, na dito sa ibabaw ng sanglibutan sa United States ay talagang napakaganda ng kanyang naiwan ng ligasaya. Uh, itong si Warren Wiersbe, uh, a Baptist pastor doon sa Calvary Baptist Church, Covington, Covington Kentucky, and uh, other places until he uh, became uh, for many years director ng back of uh, the Bible and he was engaged in writing, okay? Because matanda na siya and he is now in glory with the Lord. Nung panahon niya, yung mga pastors ay sa kanya tumatakbo. He is a pastor to pastors. Kailangan natin. Ako nga, gusto kong may tinatakbo ang pastor. Kaya nga lang dahil mga antiques na wala na sila eh. Kaya sa Panginoon na lang tumatakbo. <laughs> wala na yung mga kasamahan na una at kasamahan namin mga pastor. So, uh, I will not, kung ako may problema, I will not uh, go and approach yung mga nobis, yung mga bagito. Dapat pumunta ka sa talagang battle scarred na, na talagang dumanas na, dumaan na sa uh, spiritual warfare at battles ng ministry at buhay kristyano. There are three things and I hope I can do it kasi every time na nga ako sabi ko doon sa funeral service kay Brother Rudy pagkatapos dito ng Wednesday kahit pagod ako lalo na pag doon nakamas pa sabi ko sa inyo triple ang pawis ko at pagod ke sabi ko dito pag alisan ng mga kapatid pagpunta natin ka ako doon this is going to be my shortest okay message ganun palaging shortest message pero pagdating na doon hindi <laughs> Sabi ko kaya ang palaging prayer ko ngayon, Lord, please help me that when I have said enough, shut me up, shut me up. Ang hirap. Parang diesel. Mahirap. <laughs> kaya ay hindi man tama sa mga naroon ay sorry sa sinabi kong pinakamaiksing message ko ito. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I wish. <laughs> Totoo. Kaya lang hindi ko na mapigil. Parang nasa cloud nine ako. Hindi ako nakapagbukas ng Biblia. Etc. Ganun rin siya. Sabi ko, Lord, iba ka talaga. Okay, so anyway. Dito, I hope I can. Okay? Three things. Uh, first of all, three times lang itong binanggit ni Apostle Paul when he wrote sa kanyang epistles. Tandaan nyo, 14 epistles, yun ang ni Apostle Paul. Three times niya lang, binanggit ang pangalan ni Epapras. At dito sa three times na binanggit niya ang pangalan ni Epapras, ay doon kalakip nito ang mga ang prinsipyo at patutuo ng lalaking ito na talagang hindi eh, lang kahanga-hanga, ito ay magandang tularan. Okay? Simple lang naman. Okay? First of all, I would like us to consider sa tatlong references na ito because I will piece them up, yung put them into the puzzle para makita natin and then uh, so matotal tungkol sa buhay niya. Okay? First of all, ay ating mapapansin ang kanyang Pagkabanggit, first time he mentioned is in Colossians chapter 1 na ang sabi niya dito, uh, si Epapras na ang ibig sabihin ng pangalan ay? Okay, charming. Akala ko nakalimutan na kagad din niya. Ganun kasi di kadilikad o mga spiritual, madaling makakalimutan. So sa chapter 1, sa so verse 7 and verse 8, this is the first mention ng lalaking ito. At tingnan ninyo dito, sabi, As ye also learned of Epapras, our dear fellow servant, who is for you a faithful minister. Yung servant at saka minister, pareho yan. Faithful minister of Christ, who also declared unto us by your love 
in the spirit na kung saan ay ipinabot ni ipapras kay Apostle Paul na nasa kulungan ang mga pangyari doon sa church sa Colossae, uh, Hierapolis at sa Laodicea. At one thing admirable sa kanya ay hindi ang mga kasiraang mga balita uh, na nangyari sa si churches ang kanyang ipinapaabot kay Apostle Paul. Ang dinala niyang uh, balita ay kung saan ang mga magagandang mga uh, pangyayari at katotohanan. In other words, he had a positive outlook. No matter what the uh, uh, problems were, ay he looked beyond the problems. He looked to the Lord. Kaya maganda ang uh, kanyang uh, gina, ginagawa. Unlike other pastors, minsan kasama ako. Pero I have learned my lessons well and good. Na ibang pastor ay talagang hindi lamang sasabunin niya. At minsan kahit uh, sa isang uh, fellowship o isang uh, camp gatherings ay pupunta siya doon para hiyain yung sanya, kanyang uh, uh, church. That's, that's not the right thing to do. Hindi yun ginawa. He was very aware of helping these people. Alam niyo may problema. Ayun na yung problema. Tinutulungan niya makara o sa problema hindi may problema ay dinadagdagan mo pa ng problema gan positive outlook meron ito so the first thing that we will notice about him na ito ay dapat tularan natin not necessarily uh, because you are going to be a pastor or uh, a preacher but as a Christian servant number one sabi ni Apostle Paul that itong si Epapras is a faithful servant. Alam niyo, that is what matters most to God. When Jesus uh, comes again, ay yan ang issue. Give account of thy stewardship. How did you manage uh, the blessings, the things that I have loaned to you for a lifetime? Ano, paano mo ba Uh, uh, ginugol ang mga bagay na ito. That is very, very certain at the coming of Jesus Christ. The issue of service is at stake. And uh, let's not forget that your works, your good works, it counts a lot. It's a result of faithfulness. Hindi yun nagpapa-impress ka na Kumikil siya. Kunwari, naglilikod siya, etc. But deep down in your heart, you have a personal motive or interest na hindi nakikita. But hindi ito lihim sa Panginoon. Whatever we do, do it all for the glory of God. That's the uh, thing that matters. So dito sabi niya, sa chapter 1 verse 7, as she also learned of of Epaphras, our dear fellow servant, who is for you a faithful minister of Christ. He is a faithful servant of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yung salitang fellow, dito ay ilang beses niyang uh, ginamit ito kalakip ng paparangal niya dito kay Epaphras. Dito ay sabi niya fellow servant, pero mas idiniin ko uh, yung katotohanan that he is a faithful servant. Hindi lamang siya. Ang fellow, ay alam natin, uh, di ba, hindi lang naman ito totoo sa uh, wika ni Apostle Paul Treat, uh, several times niya ginamit dito na sabi niya that Epaphras is my fellow servant. That Epaphras is a fellow soldier. That, you check it out sa Colossians, that Epaphras is a fellow sa chapter 4, prisoner. So, palagi niyang sinasabi ito, fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. Fellow. Very impressive ang salitang fellow. Even among uh, sa mga doctors, ay meron silang mga fellows. 
at minsan nakakalaki pa ito doon sa mga attainments nila at, uh, or achievements nila at doon sa mga ibinibigay nilang prescription, etc. Just what does it mean? Tingnan nyo, Tagalog, very simple pala. Okay, kapwa lingkod. Yung fellow, kapwa. Ang ibig sabihin nito ng fellow, okay, hindi ka nga pwede magkaroon ng fellowship kung hindi mo ka-fellows. <laughs> Alien yun kung mag hindi siya sa ibig. Okay, fellow servant. Okay, fellow soldier. O fellow prisoner. Yan ang uh, dapat na matuklasan natin sa buhay ng lalaking ito. Ang salitang fellow, ay it speaks to us tulad sa uh, ang araw-araw na uh, buhay natin. We speak, uh, we speak of our fellow classmate. Kapwa! Yung peer mo. Dako. Ang ayoko doon, gusto ko yung peer, pero ayoko ng pressure. <laughs> Misan yung uh, kaibigan mo, yung fellow mo, ang nag, uh, pipressure sa iyo. O kaya may circumstance yan na nagpipressure sa iyo. For example, you are supposed to submit okay, an assignment or whatever project ay kinakailangan gawin mo ito sa uh, uh, timetable sa itinakdang panahon na dapat matapos ito. At habang nalalapit na yung uh, termino na ito'y dapat gawin mo, isubmit mo, ay lalo kang napipresyo. Sa ministry, ganun matindi talaga eh. Ganun sa ministry. Sobra. So it means an associate. So associate, kasamahan. Uh, at sa wikang uh, banyaga na ito ay ngayon nangyari sa uh, Europe, Uh, yung mga countries na ito ay ang tawag nila sa fellows nila ay comrade. Comrade. More or less, ito ay uh, attached sa ibang uh, ideology. Okay? Comrade. Okay? Uh, so, dito ay, ang ibig sabihin nito ay madalas si Brother Danny doon sa Australia, uh, popular address ito nila pag ikaw ay ka-close ng kasama nila, uh, peer or uh, kaibigan nila, etc. Tawag nila ay mate. Mate. Hi, mate! <laughs> Palagi niya akong binabati no, ng mate. <laughs> Kulang nila sagutin ko, checkmate. <laughs> okay, so naitindihan na natin na sabi niya, a fellow servant. Today, can we ever assert that When we are in church, we are fellow servants of God. Nobody is higher than anybody. And even the man behind the pulpit is only a leader among equal. Your vote is good as mine. So dito sa lordship, you have no voice that is foreign. That is prohibited, of course, sa Bible, sabi ni Apostle Paul not lording it over God's heritage. There's a difference between lordship and leadership. Sa leadership, what is being driven at is servant leader. Di ba, nung panahon ni eh, Pinoy, yun ang bandira, di ba? Ang mamamayan, ang boss natin, kaya walang wangwang kahit sino ka na dumaan. Di ba na, na so, buhay na ba kayo nung panahon ni Pinoy? Di ba? Wala noon. Walang makakuan eh. Sabi niya, kayo ang boss ko. Okay? So, at least uh, he knew what ewan ko lang, 100% na natupad ito. Kasi it's still possible, susceptible naman ang mga tao sa temptation, na yung mga subordinates mo, yung mga nakapaligid sa iyo, ay may go contrary uh, sa iyong principle or ideal na isinusulong. And God forbid na sana we have one mind in the church. Kayo may kakamping ko? Ay, excuse me, bakit? <laughs> A political tayo. Kung sino, sino ang uh, you deem uh, qualified and God helping you, hindi kayo magsisisi Uh, sa six years, kaya matindi ang panalangin ko. 
matindi ang panalangin ko. This is, iba talaga itong election itong magaganap. Okay? So, uh, ating mapapansin yan, ang first quality sa servant leader na ito na pinarangalan ni Apostle Paul. In other words, servant leaders ought to maintain low profile sila. They are to be humble. Okay? They are to follow the example of Jesus Christ na sinundan ni Apostle Paul at nakita niya ang spirit na ito kay ipapras. Okay? Second, second, notice with me please, not only is he a faithful servant, okay, a fellow servant, number two, ay ating uh, mapapansin that he is also, okay, a fellow servant, so chapter 1, verse 7, and verse 2, or verse 8, at dito naman, <clears throat> ay he is also a faithful uh, a faithful servant. Fellow, kasama, kapwa lingkod, pangalaw, faithful. So, uh, the same verse of verse 7 and verse 8. Itong si, itong si uh, Epapras, low profile, at maganda ang kanyang kahit matindi ang uh, nagiging problema ng church, ay Siya ay lumalapit kay Apostle Paul, isinasagunin niya, hinihingi niya, hindi lamang um, payo, panalangin, at uh, uh, para siya ay higit pang matut matut maturuan upang anumang kakaharapin niyang ministry ay he would not be moved. Na tulad ni Apostle Paul sa closing, ng kanyang ministry na nagpaalam na siya sa mga elders doon sa Melitos na pinatawag niya sa kanyang pamamaalam. Ang sabi niya, none of, kasi binabawalan siya, huwag ka na pumunta sa Jerusalem sa pagkat that will be the end of your journey. That will be the end of your life. Hindi na tayo magkikita-kita. Totoo yun, sabi ni Apostle Paul. But then he said in Acts chapter 20 verse 21, uh, if I can uh, remember the text, ang sabi niya, But none of these things move me. Neither count I my, uh, my life. Na importante sa kanya. Sabi niya, I'm willing to lose everything. As after uh, 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 having scrutinized his life uh, through the years that he ministered to the Lord, sabi niya, I discovered that whatever I have gained in this life and whatever I possess in this life, they are merely... Dang, D-U-N-G, dang. Sabihin na natin ngayon, medyo refined pa, garbage. Pero yung dang na tinutukoy niya dito ay doon sa field, yung mga kalabaw, yung mga baka, pagpupo nito, yun ang uh, landmine na sinasabi niya. Di ba pag nakatapang ka dito? At least, Consuelo de Bobo, na hindi ito tulad uh, ng uh, pupo ng mga uh, ibang hayop kasi ito ay galing sa grass. Diba? Pero ganon rin, malalaki yun. Okay. Oh, so, dito yung ating uh, mapapansin, neither count I uh, my life dear unto myself that I might finish my course which I have received of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, talagang napakaganda ng paninindigan ni Apostle Paul na ngayon ay nakikita niya ito sa buhay ni Papras na mas mahalaga ang Panginoon kaysa sariling buhay niya. Mahirap ito. Ang hirap. Yan ang uh, trust ng salita ni Apostle Paul sa Galatians 2.20. It's easier recited than practiced. Alam natin nyo, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, I live yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life is I now live in the flesh, in the body, I live by my own faith and flesh. And I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. He had a very, very uh, objective view of life. Nasabi niya, he was looking forward and he wanted to be very sure 
that whatever he may have achieved in this life ay sa dulo ay is not a loss but it's gain. Kaya nga ang investments natin dito sa ibaba ng isang libutan ay medyo may insecurities na nangyayari ngayon sa, uh, sa economy. And soon we will be losing yung cash. A cashless society will be established. And lahat na yan points to the future when the Antichrist appears. But thank God, I'll not be around when he surfaces. I'll be up there. So, uh, dito yung ating uh, mapapansin na sabi niya, faithful ito. Kung bakit hindi niya uh, dinadala ang mga uh, makasasama sa church, but uh, ito ay uh, uh, kanyang tinitingnan na higit pa doon, he is not uh, actually uh, so bothered ko concerned about the problems, but he knew that Jesus, our God, is a problem solver. Minsan, hindi na natin makita. Laki-laki ng problema ko. Ang tanong, kaya kayang lutasin yon ng Panginoon? Is your problem greater than your God? I don't think so. God is greater than all my problems combined. It's just a matter of trusting Him. When God steps in, He intervenes, you will be amazed. Sabi ko, grabe, hindi ako nakakatulong. Nabigat ang problema ko. Yun pala ay, hindi naman problema after all. God is just allowing me to go through the process to purify me. Yan ang sinabi ni David. Na bago siya makaranas ng affliction, she was wayward. It is good for me that I have been afflicted. And then, that I might learn thy statutes. I have uh, learned well and good, Lord, when I have gone through this. Hindi niyo naman mabibigyan na gaanong pahalaga ang mga bagay na nariyan pa sa inyo. Pag nawala yan, anakaw yan, nawala yan sa inyo, doon niyo makita ang kahalagahan niyan. Kaya uh, dapat sa lahat ng bagay ay sa Panginoon tayo. The best, the greatest problem sol uh, solver. I like that. He's my problem solver. And I go to the Bible and check it out. And Lord, I need your guidance. So help us. Okay, last. The third thing, uh, dito nga pala itong si si Epapras, sinabi ni Apostle Paul, ang tono ng sulat ni Apostle Paul, Epapras, okay, uh, is always uh, making this truth be known that he is not only in the church. Hindi lang siya nasa church. Kaya hindi niya nais na dagdagan ng problema ng church o sirain ng church at whatever because he is not only in the church but he is for the church. Why? Because this is exactly the attitude of Jesus Christ. And the Apostle Paul bet, uh, said it better than sabi niya, Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ loved the church and gave himself for her, for it. So, ganun kahalaga sa kanya. Sabi niya, gawain ito ng Panginoon. Mahalaga ito. Kaya hindi siya umimbitan ng isang preacher para talagang idikdik, idiin, etc. lahat para sila ay kay pastor matakot at mas magsamba. That's a change sa church economy, government nag-change ng church government. Kaya ang mga tao, it's not love that moves them. Nagsisimba pa sila, sabi niya, nagsisimba ko dito kahit hindi dahil kay pastor. Nagsisimba ko dito dahil sa Panginoon. Pero umaabuso ang aming pastor. I, I, uh, I cannot uh, take it anymore. Ipanalangin. And may God step in. Last, now remember, you are in the church. 
But are you for the church? If we have to vote, is it against the church? Okay. Sana ay tayo ay nagkakaisa sa mga bagay na magtataas sa Panginoon. We would stand for that which is right. Huwag natin talikuran ang katotohanan ng ito. Last, notice with me please, sa chapter 4 verse 12 as well as sa Philemon 23. So ito lang ang tatlong reference sa kanya. So ating mapapansin ang third uh, example na pinapurihan ni Apostle Paul and no doubt sa harap rin ng Panginoon when he went home to be with the Lord ay number three that he is sa, prob, uh, sa, prob, sa uh, Colossians chapter 4 uh, verse ulit, sa verse 12 suriin natin ito please and this is what helped him most para mangyari ang nangyari sa kanyang buhay at itong mga characteristics na ito Uh, itong mga uh, behaviors niyang ito ay ito ay uh, mangyari sa buhay niya and this is because he is a servant who possesses a fervent spirit tingnan niyo please of Colossians chapter 4 verse 12 Epaphras who is one of you a servant of Christ saluteth you or greeteth you always laboring fervently for you in prayers that ye may stand perfect and complete in all the will of God. So, ito ay pinarangalan ni Apostle Paul. What a zeal this brother possesses. Fervent servant. What does it mean to be fervent? Sinabi rin ito ni James. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. It is a prayer that is on fire. Red hot na panalangin. Yan ang sinabi niya dito. Ito ay he excelled. Best of all sa ministry niya is because he is a servant that is fervent in prayer. Tingnan nyo ang tatlong katotohanan sa panalangin dito ni uh, Epapras. Sabi ni Apostle Paul, Epapras, which one of you, a servant of Christ, saluted you always. In other words, ang kanyang pag-ala, pag-ala, uh, remember, pag-alala sa kanyang gawain tuwing nang siya pumupunta kay Apostle Paul, at makir- uh, damayan si Apostle Paul especially when he is in solitary moments sapagkat ang mga kasama niya ay they have to go their own ways na ito'y pinapahayo ni Apostle Paul upang suriin yung mga gawain kung ano na ang nangyari and that solitary moment that he is alone ay naroon siya sa Philemon chapter a uh, chapter sa Philemon 23 tingnan natin please kaya sinabi dito ni Apostle Paul, after Titus is a pastoral epistle, nang sabi niya dito, Philemon 23, verse 23, nang sabi niya dito, There salute the Epaphras, my fellow prisoner in Christ Jesus. Bakit? Sapagat sinasamahan. Marunong siyang dumamay, makisama, at sa mga panlulumbay, kalungkutan ni Apostle Paul, lalo na kung siya'y nag-iisa, he would sacrifice himself at oras niya at siya'y pumupunta doon upang makatabi, makausap at matuto sa mga pangaral ni Apostle Paul. Wow! What a great desire! At natutunan niya rin ito, I am pretty sure, kay Apostle Paul na manalangin ng may fervency, red hat. Si Apostle Paul is both a theologian and when he prays, ang kanyang padalangin would shake the, uh, the event, the circumstance because he believed in a great 
prayer, prayer answering God. Di ba? Claim natin ito. I believe not only as a saving God, but I believe in a prayer answering God. Pas ito tayo naglulok, nagmumukmuk, etc. Lahat na para tayo ay we feel we are an orphan, we are abandoned by God. Never nangyari kay Apostle Paul even in his most trying times and uh, his death uh, drawing close and uh, he's about to be executed. Uh, he was at peace. He was composed. At ganun rin, fervent always. Sinabi ni Apostle, one of the uh, duties of the Christian, which is not only an obligation, but it should be considered as a great privilege that a sinner saved by grace can talk with God. What a, uh, an open line of uh, communion and communication. Dapat kilalaan natin ito. Sabi niya dito, He prayeth for you always. Yan ang greatest labor. Mahi, kala natin, nadalik manalangin. Hindi ganon. Yun ang pinag-aaralan ko ngayon at that's why I am uh, trying to get as many resources at mga experiences na mga uh, old-timers, mga ancient Christians na ang kanilang mga panalangin may init. Ito ay tinatawag na spirit-filled, spirit-anointed prayer na ang mga tao ay talagang na- nakikilos, natatauhan. At uh, ating uh, mapapansin niyo itong sinabi ni Apostle Paul, fervently praying for you, uh, fervently for you in prayers, na siya ay, it's a consistent, it's a continual, di siya nagsasawa na kayo ay alalahanin niya sa panalangin at ilapit kayo sa Panginoon sapagat ang hangad niya. At sinabi dito ni Apostle Paul, that you would stand perfect na kayo ay maging hindi lamang mga matatatag, kundi stable kayo. At complete, matured kayo, maging matured. Di ba, that should be our aspiration, that we would, we would grow into maturity. Hindi tayo for the rest of our lives spiritual babies, na too self-centered at selfish, at maliit na bagay lang, Na-offend ako. Kaya yun ang favorite uh, word natin sa ating personal uh, dictionary. Na-offend ako. Sa mga kasangkaw ginamit ng Panginoon sa Bible, wala yun. Lalo kay Apostle Paul at ganun rin kay Papras. At ang sabi dito, complete in all the will of God. He knew God's will for his life. Do you? It's the greatest discovery of your life when you have found God's will for your lives. There will be no regrets at all. You will be all praises to God. Ako, ito ang will ng Panginoon. Ayawin ko man. Pero this is God's will for me. At the first time I uh, preach, I talagang Sabi ko, Lord, hindi ako dyan. Takot na takot na takot. Ayun, ayoko, umiiwas ako. And then, each one, so, na-bless ako, etc., etc. Sabi ko, Lord, is, is, is it it? So, 53 years later, here I, I am, still here, sounding out the truth. May God help each one of us. Ano man ang will ng Panginoon sa inyo, as long as in that particular occupation, in your life ay hindi kayo nawawala sa katotohanan that you are in partnership with God. It's not a sole proprietorship. Okay. You are actually God's entrusted partner with all such things you have. One day soon, while you're still alive, you may lose them. Only God knows. Because kaya ng Panginoon baguhin ang takbo ng ating sanglibutan. The economy, baguhin niya, and everything will be at a great loss. Tulad ng nangyari sa Amerika. And that's one way 
ng tao ay maging subservient to whoever controls the bag. Whoever controls the bag controls the people. All these things ay palapit na doon sa panahon yon. Ang tanging pag-asa sa panahon natin, the only remaining cure for all ears in the government, all ears in religion, all ears in the economy, and in all ears sa social relationships ng sanglibutan is none other than Jesus Christ and His blood alone. He can reverse it. You can, in the midst of what is happening, you can remain calm and you will not be moved because, Lord, exactly as you said, it's happening. Hasten your coming, Lord. Hasten your return. Araw-araw, yun ang panalangin ko. And my prayer for each one of us that we would be ready at His coming. Father, we thank you for such an example that is worth emulating. And help us to cultivate these principles for life. It's good living, God-glorifying principles. And Lord, thank you for the pen of the Apostle Paul. And thank you for this man whom he commended. And I do pray, Lord, that you would raise up many members in the church that would follow the footsteps of our Lord Jesus Christ. And thank you for everyone present here tonight and those that are with us online. And fill us with your spirit to overflowing. And we need you more than you need us because you can manage without us, but it would be very, very impossible that we can manage without you. Thank you for the privilege of sonship and being a member of the greatest royal family for all eternity, the family of God. Thank you for those that came and guide us safely to our respective homes and keep us keeping on and help us grow in grace and in the knowledge of Jesus Christ because this is our heart's desire as well as our heart's longing and yearning even so, come Lord Jesus. We are seeing deaths all around. But the rapture, only a limited event and experience took place in the Bible with such men that you have recorded like Enoch, like Elijah, like the Apostle Paul, like Philip the Evangelist, but in mass, you promise that you will come again for us. And it's going to be such a blessed gathering in the presence who, of him who loved us and gave himself for us. Do supply whatever needs your people may have. And we know you will not fail them. And you are our great provider and in your time as always things come to pass and we can say with King David I have been young but now am old I have never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread thank you for being a loving father to each one of us your people Lord and thank you for the stewardship that you have seen fit to delegate to each one of us and help us to be faithful in the discharge of this stewardship and help us to be like-minded with our Lord Jesus Christ and those heroes of the faith 
that followed his footsteps, including Apostle Paul and Epaphras. Help us grow in grace and the knowledge of him who loved us and is coming back again. All because of grace and for your glory we pray in Jesus' name. To him be praise, honor, and glory both now and forever. And the people of God says, Amen. God bless you. Okay, please remember the announcement 150, first 150 is a special locations na ito. Okay. Good afternoon to each.